An Oklahoma City hero who served with our fire department for 35 years has a new role. We've told you that Chief Keith Bryant was handpicked by President Trump's team. Now we travel to Washington, D.C. to talk with him about his new role. There's nothing like being on the fire scene. For Chief Keith Bryant, a day on the job today looks much different than it did this time last year. And there's nothing like being at the fire station and responding to calls. After spending 35 years with the Oklahoma City Fire Department. Good quick attack on the fire. 12 years as chief. Us controlling the situation as best we can. He said it was time for a new challenge. When the president's administration contacts you and asks you, I, I didn't think I could tell him no. Chief Bryant was handpicked by President Trump's team yes, to yes. lead the U.S. Fire Administration in Washington, D.C. The Department of Homeland Security contacted me shortly after the election. It was a sense of patriotism, if you will, that uh, when your country calls you, you go serve. And how did he feel after getting the job? Shocked and honored both. Again, I, I never thought or expected anything like this for myself, to be honest with you. But here he is in our nation's capital, and he told me his experience in Oklahoma has prepared him to serve his country in this way. The natural disasters that we worked and, and seeing that the the toll that they took on on our community. Obviously the bombing uh, was a significant event that uh, you know as much uh, devastation as that caused to our community. And this iconic image from Oklahoma's darkest day hangs right outside of his DC office. He says the drawing of the spirit of Oklahoma fire truck was actually there before he got the job. As tragic as that was in so many people's lives, uh, it, it was also a rallying point and, and what we've done as a city since then. Uh, you couldn't be anything but proud to be a, be a citizen of Oklahoma City. He gained invaluable knowledge during his 35 years in OKC. I brought a wealth of knowledge and experience uh, to this position. And so uh, not just within the confines of what the U.S. Fire Administration is responsible for, but uh, within FEMA. What was the emotion like coming here? Well, absolutely bittersweet and, and, and certainly uh, with the people uh, within the city of Oklahoma City that I, that I was working with uh, during my 12 years as chief. It, it, was, it was very difficult to, to leave that situation. If I had to move on, I felt like this was the best way I could move on. And we are so proud of him in his new role. And you know, while we were there, Jess, it was a, a few weeks ago, and they were dealing with the aftermath mm -hmm. of all of the hurricanes. So he really has firsthand experience, unfortunately, you know, dealing with natural disasters here in Oklahoma. And he has been the right-hand man for the FEMA director dealing with that fallout. Yeah, he's been through too many here. Yeah. Proud to have him there. Proud to have an Oklahoman yes. in that role.